Let's You're bring welcome. in now Republican Congressman Louie Gohmert of the House Judiciary Committee. I'll just start and get your original or, or first initial thoughts on all of this. I've been watching you on social media all day. I know you have some. <laughs> well, well, I was there for a number of hours of his testimony previously behind closed doors, and I certainly haven't been the one to leak anything, and I don't know of anybody that has. But uh, it will be interesting. He's been subpoenaed. See if he comes. See if he takes the fifth. What he takes the fifth on. There was, uh, you know, obviously there were a number of things that he didn't testify about. He wouldn't testify about, and I doubt that's going to change a whole lot. But Harris, when you look at the thousands and thousands of texts that gave us great insight on this guy, uh, it's just very clear that he hates those of us on the Republican side of the aisle, especially if you supported Trump uh, against Hillary Clinton. And uh, so you've got to take everything that comes out of his mouth with more than a grain of salt, more like a block of salt. Uh, it's, it's just he's not been an honest uh, arbiter of truth and justice hasn't you know what's interesting uh, you've got him he originally said he wanted to talk then they point to the leaks uh, and and you say well you haven't leaked anything you don't know any anything about that with regard no. to this um, but Peter Strzok is somebody who said in his text messages with his paramour Lisa Page when they were at the agency working on several investigations two high-level ones um, that they had a plan to keep the president out of the White That's House. Right. What they kind absolutely. of plan could two FBI agents on high-level cases have? <laughs> well, I mean, that's the ultimate question, right? Well, except that we've seen it play out. It's called the Russia investigation, and uh, there is nobody that's been better at projecting than the Democrats and especially the Clintons. Uh, anything of which they're guilty, they project it onto their opponents. And she is the one that had the ultimate collaboration, collaboration and colluding with the Russians. And uh, she saw to it that they got the deal to uh, take over a huge amount of U.S. uranium. That should never have been gone through. It would not have gone right. through if a guy named Rosenstein, Mueller, and Weissman had uh, brought to CFIUS attention just how illegal Russia had been. And so, Strzok, this is their plan. They project what the Clintons had done Yeah, but it didn't Trump. work. It, it didn't keep this president out of the White House. No. And so now we have to look, I would think, from a 37,000-point Gestalt view and say, did one political party turn its weapons on another political party that's that potentially exactly worked question. through the FBI? Because that's really what matters here. That is, and it doesn't it matter if it's greatly. Republicans or Democrats. That's right. You're exactly right. And one of the things that, that astounded me in our hearing uh, last week is that you had people that were really defending what uh, these people had done and what they said they were planning, whereas, as, as I had said, you know, if, if these folks had been around as Republicans during Watergate, Nixon would have finished his term when he had, done, he had been engaged in wrongdoing, but his party didn't keep defending him. They stood up for what's right. And this is really egregious. It really goes to the core of our being able to function as a republic where people have input mm -hmm. in self-government. When we can't trust the Justice Department, then we can't trust the government. It is really foundational in the cracks that have been and, uh, and spread again, here I, by Strzok. I, I point out that the party is not the issue here because you have Republicans right. who are atop the chain over at the DOJ. So, I, I mean, that's not yeah. what it is. Last real quick question for you. So Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern is what we've been told yeah. about when we'll hear from Peter Strzok. Um, what do you anticipate that to be like? Because a lot of times these hearings sure do look like bloviating from a lot of the politicians. How focused <laughs> well, will it be? It only looks that way because a lot of times there is some bloviating. But uh, I, I expect him to come in and say some of the same things he said uh, uh, in his last testimony behind closed doors. I mean, he'd be a foolish to say anything different. But uh, there are things that he will not answer, and hopefully we could get some answers. But, Harris, we have so many answers already. You know, when you've got thousands and thousands of statements from somebody over a prolonged period. And by the way, one thing that really struck me, I can't comment on what he said, but he is amazingly good at lying with a straight face. Wow. And I thought, how is he so good at this? And then I realized 
he had so much practice with his own wife, you know, lying oh about his relationship. You, you're talking that's about that, where he that got extramarital his affair now. Yes, and that's where he got really good at right. keeping a straight face and not being honest. We will cover the news on Tuesday as it happens with that uh, FBI agent Peter Strzok. Always I good to have to you, uh, Congressman Thank you. Gomer, from Always the great state of Texas. Always good to be with you, Harris. Thank you. Thank you.